Hello, DMS science students. It's Mrs. Kashara at home today with the Electromagnet Lab. So I want to hope to see that I can show you this setup. This one is going to be with the independent variable of the length of the wire. I have the same type of wire. It's an 18 gauge wire. I know that because on this one I have it labeled 18 gauge for another one coming up. And I have pre-wound these, the coils around the nail to make it a little bit faster uh, so that we can see what is going on with the electromagnet. Now, I'm going to start with the two foot length of wire. I did try to keep the ends um, about the same length and on the very, very tip, I don't know if you can see that, I scratched away that red paint on there. I wanna make sure I get a really good connection with the wire, the copper wire that's underneath that. With my six volt battery, I'm gonna connect the alligator clips to the battery and attach it on the ends of one of the wires, coiled and wrapped around the nail and attach it to the other end of that. And so I'm going to allow that to kind of uh, get those electrons to move through the wire in this complete closed circuit and around the uh, nail so that those electrons in that wire are causing the atoms in the nail to align. And so I have my set of paper clips and I'm hoping that I can create this electromagnet and we can see how many paper clips it's going to pick up. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to kind of run this through with the two foot wire and just to see how many paper clips on the ends that I can pick up. And it looks to be about three on this end. One, two, three, four, five total. So go ahead and write that down five paper clips total. I'm gonna disconnect those and make it an open circuit. Stop that flow of electrons. Now I'm going to do the one with the three foot wire. Of course, there's a lot more wire to this one. And as I wound this around the nail, um, I was running out of nail, so I did have to go over and I tried to make sure it was really tight with the coils. Again, make my ends the same distance as the one at the beginning. Attach those alligator clips at the end of my electromagnet. Let it sit for just a couple of seconds. Get those electrons to flow through. And we're going to see what happens with the Electromagnet, how many paper clips I can pick up with the ends of my magnet. This one looks like already I got quite a few more. And let's see what I have. On this end I have one, two, three, four. On this end I have one, two, three, four. All right. I'm um, kind of cool if I take this and see what happens if I disconnect it totally dropped them. So an open circuit does not allow those electrons to flow anymore. And it becomes no longer a magnet. That's what's kind of special about electromagnets. And then finally, my four foot. Again, I pre-wound these, so get that back on the nail. This one, there was a lot of wire. So you can see that I had to wind that around and around. Again, keeping that length the same, our constants. Attach it at the ends of our wire to get that complete closed circuit. Saw a little spark on that one a little bit. Let it sit for just a second. Let's see how many paper clips on the ends we can do. Here we go. Total paper clips on the ends. Lots and lots of paper clips on this one. All right, so on the head of the nail, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. On this end, 
One, two, three, four, five. All right, so we got 14 paper clips total uh, for that particular wire. Remember, this was the independent variable of the length of the wire using the 18 gauge wire with a two foot, three foot, and finally this one was the four foot. Have a great day.